Welcome back beer tubers. Today we're taking a look at one of the new releases from Sierra Nevada. This is their Hop Hunter IPA. A beer that's pretty infamous now after Lagunitas tried to sue, sue uh, or send a cease and desist order to uh, Sierra Nevada to um, for a fringe mark of the, the IPA letters on there. So that uh, lawsuit got dropped after social media went nuts. So now that this beer is out, let's, uh, let's give it a shot, see if it's any good. This is a pretty interesting beer. It's a 6.2% IPA. The cool thing about this, this is an IPA brewed with distilled hop oil. And this whole process is very new. They take freshly picked hops and they use a distilling process to, to uh, extract hop oil from these undried, fresh picked hops. So it's kinda, or I'm hoping it'll kinda taste like a fresh hop beer. The hop oil they used were uh, from Cascade Centennial and, and Columbus hops. And then the beer also has, uh, was finished with uh, Crystal, Cascade, and Simcoe hops. And they bittered with Magnum and Millennium, so. And then the malt, uh, two row, a little bit of crystal, and flaked oats. So it's a pretty, uh, it's a very clear beer, and it's a very light beer. So not too much crystal malt in there. The head's bright white. So let's get the aroma. Oh wow, that smells fantastic. Very pungent aroma. A lot going on there. Um, that fresh hop, just dankness, resiny, piney dankness is is present, which is awesome. There's a little spiciness, uh, sweeter, like orange sherbet notes. Um, yeah, like um, tangerine almost like notes, a little bit of like peach. Yeah, some kind of like really intensely sweet apricot notes in there. So you got that stone fruit character going, that citrus note. Yeah, a little bit of like a um, lemony character in there as well. And then that big, dank, resiny, piney character. So it smells awesome. Let's, uh, let's dig in. Cheers. Mm, that's a nice beer. First sip. Um, definitely has a nice intensity flavor-wise too. It's not overly done. Um, for the bitterness at 60 IBUs. It works well with 6.2% the malt backbone. Uh, based on their gravities, it finished at 1010 10 specific gravity, two and a half Play-Doh. So uh, it's a very nice dry beer. It does have some nice malt character in there though. Um, nice mouthfeel. So it's a, it's a delicious beer. Very crushable beer. I just, um, I'm gonna go through this bottle real quick. Uh, it falls in those very well as far as the hop uh, flavors go. Definitely that big resiny, piney, dank character. Uh, that sweeter uh, orange in there, that sort of um, like a marmalade orange, a uh, little bit of a let, like a sweeter lemon, uh, the kind of peachy apricot notes in there as well. Um, yeah, it's really nice. Nice breadiness on the finish. Um, you know, not really picking up like a crystal malty sweetness, so they went pretty light on that. Adds, uh, between the crystal malt and I think the, the oats, it um, adds some nice body to the finish. Kind of beefs, because uh, it's not a super high alcohol IPA. And IPA, and part of the, I think the thing with uh, the, the higher alcohol IPAs is that alcohol really adds a lot of mouthfeel and, and body to the beer. So when you get these lower alcohol uh, hoppy beers, you kind of either need to uh, adjust your malt, your mash temp, um, to get a little more mouthfeel in the beer if you're gonna use this much hops in it. So, uh, they did a great job with this beer. I'm glad it turned out well. Uh, I noticed there's packaging data the 15th and today's the 29th. So, um, really, really fresh beer. Just got released and uh, yeah, highly recommended. I think they're gonna maybe do, do a whole series with this distilled hop oil. Oops, excuse me. Or, um, or they'll just keep brewing this with this hop oil that they, uh, managed to capture at the harvest time. But um, really cool, uh, you know, borderline uh, revolutionary type of a hoppy beer from Sierra Nevada, which is cool to see them doing something very, very new to a brewery that has traditionally only used whole leaf uh, hops. And for them to try this is kind of a really cool step forward. So uh, that's gonna wrap up uh, this review. Go get this beer if you're a hophead. Think you're gonna enjoy it. Till next time, please comment and subscribe. Cheers.